Hello and welcome to another heads up. As usual, I had to adjust the screen region. We flopped the nut flash draw, um, so we will re raise him here. I have no clue why he leads out against me. We hit top pair, so we'll bid again. He will probably call. Nope, he keeps up. So, no clue why he let out against me. It's a Russian. We have a second ace. Not bad. Uh, we'll check and give it up if you see bet. He doesn't, so raise is probably good. Um, and he overbets the pot pretty heavily, so yeah, you can have that. And I mean, people can do that, and I don't mind them doing that. Why the hell does he lead out yet again? I don't think he has anything, so let's do it twice and then see what he does. We hit our 6, so we'll call the 20. He had pocket 7s, so yeah, he had a strong hand there. But even then, um, they usually get punished uh, by leading out. We have bottom pair. Uh, they overbet the pots, I mean, overbetting pots really isn't good. Uh, because if I have something, it's gonna cost them a lot. 4 8, we totally missed, and we're gonna fall to the C bet. Uh, he always leads out, he always C bets at this point. But it just limps free flop. Seems a bit weird, right? Um, I mean, look at that. His C bet is 150% of the pot. Why would you ever do that? Because, and now he doesn't lead out? That's odd. Why wouldn't he lead out? He has a draw? Nope. So, when playing against people, you always have to look for some different things. Normally he just limbs there, so he probably has a strong hand there. I'm willing to give him an ace here, or even a better kicker, so I will fold. Especially if he just pot bets. Uh, King 10, strong hand, standard raise. Uh, two aces, don't think he has anything, so let's re-raise him, and he folds there. So I mean, I think the king kicker there was fine, uh, we want to play a bigger hand with pocket sevens of course. Um, do you want to go all in here? Maybe, uh, we'll just re-raise him again, see what he does. Yeah, sure, we have pocket sevens, it's a strong hand. He has ace jack, so he has two over cards. Just have to dodge an ace or a jack, and we do, so yeah. Um, was a coin flip, a bit of a risk, but I mean, pocket sevens is really strong. Um, I'm gonna fault each deck, I mean, he's low stack, he's an aggressive player, he would shove, uh, and I have to have a hand willing to go. Um, so we have ace jack this time, so let's go to 300 and see if he wants to play. He wants to play, and we haven't dominated, so just have to dodge a 5, and he flops 3 fives, yeah. Nothing I can do about it, right? So now he has a decent stack again. He can shove, but I doubt he will. We hit middle pair. Um, let's re raise him. He calls. An ace comes, which is a bit of a scare card. Um, he knows that though. But I'm gonna fault here. I mean, he knows it's a scare card. I think he n he's willing to bet there. Uh, let's go to 55. We basically have kings. Oh, let's check and re-raise them all in. Uh, let's go to 210. And he gives up. So yeah, we could have trapped more there, but not willing to do so. Uh, we have a king, which is fine. Um, he falls. We have 4-5. Yeah, we want to see a flop. Uh, we flop an open ender, so we're check calling. We miss. He bets 20 again. We hit our 5, and he shoves all in. I'm fine with conceding that. It's not the first time he does that though, um, so gotta be real careful. We flop 2 pair. Let's see what he does. Uh, let's go to 240. We're basically committing here only 8 9 beats us. I don't think he has a king, so let's bet 360. Uh, I don't mean I don't think he has 2 pair. Uh, he basically has a 5 uh, out, and he doesn't hit it, so we won yet another one. Uh, I think this is gonna be the last one I'm gonna play today. That's five of them. Uh, we're four one today. And if you're watching this, because I'm gonna watch uh, the EPT later on, and I'm also gonna try and do some research, figuring out why 
I have to adjust my screen region every single time with this. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the future.